Welcome back to another Phone Fix Friday. My name is Derek and today we're going to be going over part two of the iPhone 12 Pro proximity sensor issue that we were having last Friday. And let's see if we can figure it out. Let's get into the video. To recap last Friday, when the proximity sensor was connected, what we would see is a, as soon as the Apple logo came up, within a few seconds, we'd get a boot loop. This was in a three minute boot loop, which you would typically see with damage to the proximity sensor itself. If there's damage to the proximity sensor, although it can cause the phone to boot, up, boot loop during the boot up, typically the damage to the prox is seen when you get a three minute boot loop. And we were able to find that there is a short on the connector. So that's where we're gonna start from here. And we're going to see where that takes us. All right, so back to this iPhone. Knowing that there is an issue on the board, let's take it out. We'll take out the screws for the camera bracket and pop, pop it off. Disconnect the camera and pull it out. Now let's take the battery out just like that and that. All right, now that we have the battery out, let's disconnect the 5G antenna. All right, now that that's loosened, we'll go ahead and disconnect it. Peel off the sticker there. And now we'll take out the motherboard. All right, we'll take the motherboard out, just like that. And one of the things that I like to do is add some isopropyl alcohol to all of the foam. That way I can remove it and reuse it later. Give it a couple seconds to soak in and it'll loosen up the adhesive. If you get all the way under the adhesive, it'll come up in one piece and we'll save that for later. And then we'll carefully peel off the back here as well so that it sits nicely on the heating platform, just like that. So one thing that I like to do before going through the process of splitting the boards is just double check. It only takes a second to see if it's anything else causing the boot loop. And the reason I'm doing this is because I just went and double checked with the multimeter again on the connector and everything was reading just fine. So what I wanna do is connect up everything again and see if for some reason we have a boot loop or not because it would be really strange and awesome if we don't have a boot loop given what we've already seen on this device. So, all right, we've got everything except the rear cameras connected. Let's see if we can get it to power on and not boot loop. So the Apple logo and we get a boot loop. Yep, and it's coming back on. So let's do this. Let's just disconnect the proximity sensor again and turn it back on. Reconnect the battery and here we go. Let's look and we get Apple logo and does it stay on? Does it stay on? So far so good, still going and we are on. Okay, so I'm gonna go again and test. We'll grab our multimeter here and let's test and see real quick. We should have ground on the outside here. And then as we work our way in, we should have 0 0.45, 0 0.38. This should say 0.6, but it's not, it's shorted. So again, somehow I guess when the, the, the phone fully drained of power, it registered as fine. What's interesting is the value is changing. It started at 0 0.2 and went to 0 0.3, now it's at 0 0.4. So something is happening as the energy dissipates in the board. Let's split it like I thought we were gonna have to, and we will go from there. All right, with the board out, let's just double check, and we still have it. Okay, so I'm gonna get my little standoff screw here. We'll get that on there so we can hold on to the board. We'll get out our board heater, plug it in. We'll set it on down, we'll turn it on, and we'll let this heat up so that we can separate the top and bottom boards. Now I like to do this in a way where I can reassemble it without having to do any type of reballing. So I'm gonna take my time to make sure I lift it perfectly up, doesn't slide around, and doesn't create any issues so that I can not have to reball it when I put it back together. And for this, I'm gonna be using very thin tool that'll help me slide in between the layers and kind of twist and pop them when they're when it's moving i don't want to put any strain on the board i don't want it to flex i don't want it to do anything to cause issues for me in the future i want it to all be moving 
when I go to pop it up so that I can lift this up straight. All right, we're almost up to temperature, so I'm gonna start to mess with it a little bit. See if we have any movement. I see the flux from the factory interacting with the, the edge, so we're getting close. All right, I put the little clamps on here to have, kind of help hold the board down a little bit for me. We're up to temperature, so it should start to move when I tap on it. All right, this side's lifting. All right, and it's off. And I'm gonna take a fan and let things cool down. All right, so now let's take a look and test and see if we still have an issue with that line. See, look at that. We are testing just fine. Very interesting. So let's flip it over and run some more tests here. Let's see if we have anything we can isolate that's shorted just around the uh, small audio that we suspect to be the culprit. All right, let's connect up the display. We'll connect up the proximity sensor and then we'll connect up the battery. We could use a power supply in this case, in this case, at this point if we wanted to. All right, and let's go ahead and prompt the phone to boot and we get a boot loop. If we disconnect the proximity sensor, does it come on? Looks like it is coming on. Let's see if it comes all the way on, and it does. Okay, so let's go back to the multimeter and see yet again what's going on. We'll go back over to that same pin that was reading just fine a second ago. Would you look at that? We still have whatever is going on. So let's go under the microscope, see if we can isolate the issue. All right, so these lines, these two lines here, we get this one's fine, this one's fine, and as soon as we get here, we're getting some type of issue. And when we flip it over, it comes back over to the small audio IC here. So what I'm gonna do real quick is under our thermal camera. All right, so this is the, this is the spike ramp top to the coil out negative. I wanna see what type of current it draws And automatically we're getting hot on the back side there, the small audio I see. Kind of hard to tell, but let's flip it over. When I'm looking at it, nothing appears to be wrong. And unfortunately, the only place for me to inject voltage, because there's no other components that it's connected to that I can see, is right here on either the this cap or the pins there. All right, so let's move over and extract this IC. All right, so I don't know why the camera is so hazy right now. That being said, you can kind of make out that the triangle is in this corner, it's probably due to all the reflection of all these glass ICs here. We'll pop that guy off. Now we do have to be a bit careful because right on the back side here, we've got the NAND, all right? So we don't want to spend a crazy amount of time and heat on the, on the board there. So what I need to find is a decent grip on the chip. All right, we'll try to lift it up nice and quickly. Again, my apologies for the hazy camera. It's never like this. Maybe it's a settings thing. All right, so I'm gonna add a bit of flux just right there. I'm gonna come in with some low melt on the tip here. We're gonna mix it with the factory solder, making this a little easier to wick. The amount that I can move in this area is very small. We'll get out some wick and we'll clean up all of the pads. And then we'll take some isopropyl alcohol and we'll go and clean up all of the flux. All right, these pads have a little bit more solder than I'd like them to have, so I'm just gonna gently scrape it off. I could go back in with some flux and wick and get it off, but it's okay. It's just, it's also a small enough amount that it won't, won't really matter. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and add some flux, go back in, add some isopropyl alcohol, and that's much better. There's some teeny tiny little spots on there, but nothing that's crazy, so. Okay, we will add a teeny bit of flux, like that, and we'll spread it around. We'll get out our brand new small audio IC. All right, as you can see, it does have solder on it already. I might, <laughs> I'm thinking about reballing it. I'm not quite sure what solder it has on there, but they look so good. I'm just gonna add a little bit of flux on there and we'll spread it out with the heat I don't like that the solder didn't melt I want to put as le little heat to the board as I can so I'm going to take my tweezers 
hold on to it and we'll suck up all those pretty solder balls all right we'll get out a stencil find the corresponding stencil there we go Hit it. we'll put some solder paste on there gently hold it down come in and with our heat and reball it just like that it's like one of the solder balls might not have set up so i'm going to go back in and hit it again see if we can get that one to snap into place boom okay let that cool down right now we'll come in with a little bit of flux you'll see the difference between the factory and my solder watch how fast this mounts already melted and already cooled so this is going to be good for the alignment here so now one thing that I'm gonna do is we'll come in with a multimeter again before we put the IC on and I'm going to test all of these pins to see if I get the proper readout so 0 0.22 0 0.28 0 0.52 Point three, ten. Oh well, oh well. Then we've got ground, ground, ground. So the only thing that reads off is this one says two two instead of two seven. Two two instead of two seven. So all of these are connected. What are they connected to? It's reading just a little low. I mean, it's connected to like everything. So. I think we're good to put it back now at this point. All right, let's flip this guy over. It's kind of hard to make out, but the triangle is in the bottom corner here again. So it's lined up properly. Kind of hard not to get this one aligned because of the little, little tolerances there. That's good. So now we'll go in and flow it into place. We'll watch for it to drop. There's the drop. Here's the nudge. And we'll wait for it to cool down. And let's take it over and see if we get any issues when we go to connect the proximity sensor. All right, so now that we replaced the small audio IC, let's go ahead and test it out. We'll connect up the proximity sensor. We'll connect up our display and we'll connect up the battery. All right, now let's prompt it to boot. Got our Apple logo. And do we get a boot loop? We still have a boot loop, interesting. Let me take that off. And it looks like we're getting, we're booting up. All right, let's test that line again. And we still have the same thing, same result. We're getting the short. All right, let's see if we can troubleshoot it even further. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect up the proximity sensor. Let's see if the thermal camera can tell us anything. All right, we'll go ahead and connect up the battery. And then I'll prompt it to boot. And if any of you are wondering how to know how to prompt it to boot, you can look here. You can see this is the button side and this is ground. So as long as you're touching this to any ground plane, you'll be able to basically short the, the actual button and trigger it to boot just like that. And see, oh, would you look at that? Right here, this I see is getting nice and hot. So what relationship do these share? Okay, so it's this guy is the one getting hot. So here we've got this goes through this resistor up to the small one. So right here is the issue. All right, so if we go over to Mobile Centrics, let's go to Board Components and Interactive View down to the 12 Pro. Let's go see what that component is. Here, if we select it, we can see that it's the Caddy EEPROM chip compatible for the 12 and 13 series. All right, it's a couple bucks. In order to verify this is the issue, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pop off this IC and we'll see if we can get the phone to stop boot looping when we go to connect it. We'll also test all of the pads under this. We've got only nine pads under there that uh, we can get readings from. I've already tested all of the surrounding, anything that I can test, and everything tests fine, right? This, uh, this end of the resistor, like everything here tests okay, so. Let's pop this guy off and go from there. All right, so grab our tweezers, get a decent little grip on it. You can see the dot is in this corner. Pop, pop it off real quick without overheating the CPU. Blow on it to cool it down. <laughs> okay, 
you can see how small this guy is and compared to my pointer finger here. And looking at it, I don't see anything inherently wrong with it. And if we go down here and test, we ground, 0.2, open line, ground, ground, 0.28, 0.3, 0.28, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0.3, 0